highly recommend that you take some time, take more time, on being thankful and trying to rejoice more and trying to pray more. Not that it's going to give you special favor with God because that's not what happens. But it's good for you. And life is just a little bit more bearable, a little bit better. Because when we look around us, there's not a lot of hope in society. There's just not. And if it doesn't come through the people sitting in this room, where is anyone going to find it? You might think, how is this possible even? Why do this? What would even spur me to doing it? I guess I've lost my audio. Get my back? Okay. And Romans 8.28, it says, all things work for good, right? And we know that God causes, sorry, God causes all things to work together for good though, to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. That every circumstance, God is trying to work it out for your good. Whatever you're doing, wherever you're working, whatever relationship you're in, whatever tragedy is happening, God's purpose and his cause is to work it out for good for you. So whether you've been divorced, you've been sick, or you are sick, God is going to work that out for good for you. Isn't that a good deal? That's what we know. And that's what I've seen and experienced. And so knowing that and understanding that, whenever it comes, you go, okay, God, let me rejoice when I don't feel like it. We have a hard time rejoicing in here when there's nothing going on. We're just sitting here watching music. The guy's sitting up front singing and there's words there, and it's like, okay? Apparently it's tough for us. And I will say, you know, a worship and real worship and uh, that response comes out of, well, I'll just say it all comes out of a response of God actually doing something in your life and seeing Him and rejoicing in Him and praying more. On the way over here, someone, I, I yeah, gave a ride over here this morning and I love what she said. She says, you know what I've been reading lately? And I said, what's that? She says, I've been reading a lot of the red. And I was like, well, I've never heard that in my child. Like, You're going to read the red. And I was like, the red? In the Bible, all the red. And to know what's been going on with that person in their life and where they're coming from and what, what they're doing and what they're trying to achieve, it's amazing. If you read the red, that's awesome. And to see their demeanor changing and everything changing can help us also. Okay? Um, you guys can come up front. I'm going to pray and then I'm going to show another little video. I'm going to be done because it's like past time. Alright? So, uh, yeah. Something to think about. So I said I'm going to pray first. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's pray. Uh, Father in heaven, um, man, I am not thankful as much as I should be and I'm reminded of that this week. And maybe this is all for me, but I doubt it. And um, I'll just ask, Lord, that you do something else that we can't do. And if we have just this whole spirit of negativity and everything stinks and it's going to be bad, Lord, that you would help us change our thoughts and minds and think of what you've done for us. Uh, you say if you're for us, who can be against us? Nothing. Nothing can separate us from your love when we landed, and we have all to be thankful for. Um, so, um, you know we wrote down, Lord, I ask that uh, you take that to heart, and at the same time, uh, if there was someone involved in all that, uh, we go and actually thank them instead of just being thankful. Um, that thankfulness would be a verb in our lives um, to everyone around us. Um, in Jesus' name, yeah.